Welcome to my car and train channel. I'm going to present you a buyer's guide of a Porsche 911. This is the first series of Porsche 911 that went from uh, the late 1960s all the way to the 1988 model year. After this one, you had the camera 2 and camera 4 that got introduced. That was a brand new car. So this one is a 911 SC that went from 1978 to 1984. The advantage of buying a 911 SC is that most of the things or defects that were found in the earlier models have been resolved on this car. This car has the 3 liter engine, 6 cylinder, flat 6, 204 horsepower in European version. This car is equipped with the Fuchs rims that are the nice rims that were available on most of the 911 models. Let's go see inside the amenities of the, the famous Porsche dashboard with the RPM in the middle, the oil uh, information on the left, and to know how much oil you need to have, you need to let the engine warm up. And the oil level that you see here should be aligned with the temperature needle uh, when the temperature of the oil is warm and it needs to be done on flat ground. The original heating system with also the command for the heat on the right side of the handbrake. This car is equipped with AC and the two knobs for AC on, off uh, and the ventilator uh, are in the central console. This car has an original radio Blaupunkt Monterey SQR22 which is matching and good for the year. Electric windows, loudspeaker, handle to close the door, not a lot of room in the back. If you buy a coupe, the headroom is very low. This one is a Targa, so you have much more headroom in the back. One thing to notice is that if you have children, you are able to buy uh, a special seat uh, for the kids and to put them in the back and they will fit nicely. The trunk is in the front. Not a lot of space, but the space is long way, so not very deep. Unlike the Carrera 2 and 4, which have a well where you can put taller items in the front. The six-cylinder engine, still in the original bay, that had plenty of space. so that the engine could evolve in size. Here you can see 
the hydraulic chain tensioner, which was an improvement. Before it used to be a mechanical one and they would break. Air conditioning compressor. This is how to measure properly the oil level in a 911 air cooled. The two needles need to be aligned. On the left side you have the oil level and on the right side you have the, the needle of the temperature of the hot oil. So it's always measured with oil hot, warm at a, a running temperature and you see that the two needles are aligned that means that it's good but to be perfect in the measurement the better when the engine is hot is to measure with the, 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 the oil stick this model had a lot of evolutions uh, during the 20 years of the duration of the model so sometimes you have functions that are a little bit spread out. Uh, you can see here, for example, uh, here you have a switch for the left and third. Uh, this car had a lot of evolution throughout its 20 years duration. So sometimes the functions are a little bit spread out uh, inside the cockpit. So, for example, the side mirrors, you have the, the control knob here, but to switch from left to right, the switch is here. Same thing for heating, where instead of being all in one place, it's in three places. The original uh, commands, the heating uh, or not commands, and the air conditioning are in three different places. This car comes with the cruise control tempomat system. This car comes with the cruise control system. Very important to have the original user manual as well as the maintenance manual that unfortunately I do not have on this car. But keep in mind that recent invoices mean more than the original stamps from the 70s or 80s. Let's have more for the guns, has it? Turn signal on the left, lights on the right, and wipers. Starting in 1976 or 1977, it depends on the country, the shell was galvanized and it stopped the rust issues that uh, you could find on the earlier models. This is an extremely reliable car. There is very little to do if you do the normal regular maintenance. Really a pleasure to own such a car. I have experience because when I was young I wanted to buy one so I did a lot of studies and the 911SC and the Carrera 3.2 the Carrera 3.2 came from 1984 to 1988 those were the best model to own in my mind I see what you're saying with the gearbox it's You go straight and at the, not this one, but the next you will turn left. Got it. So you are in the right lane. And you follow the 
two uh, white cars and actually you stay in that in this uh, uh, no uh, excuse me you go in the left lane yeah they I should have worn different shoes yeah, they're too they're too large they're too uh too thick mind gear yeah yeah you when, when you feel that you, you have pushed it yeah is it better to leave it out of gear at oh yeah absolutely and, and then to unclutch right otherwise you wear the ball bearing uh, of the clutch got it Way different than the new cars. <laughs> yeah. It really is. Okay, go, go ahead. Yeah. And don't be afraid if it makes a little bit of noise.
on the left, left lane. So I was driving a uh, a 4S a couple years ago. We test drove one, and I came out of that corner so fast I had to pull up off up here because I scared myself so bad. <laughs> yeah, Le right. and the here left so. So you know, uh, we, you we down and yeah, and, and then uh, go go straight, and then maybe right, uh, and then left. Uh, we are going to take Eastern Avenue. Go uh, go straight. How to recognize early 911 compared to later models? One of the first hint is the position of the suspension arm pivot which is very close to the fender or the wheel arch on this 1983 model as you can see uh, the point of articulation is further towards the front compared to the wheel arch this is a second way to recognize uh, a later model. It's the extension of the fenders over the rear wheels. And also the front wheels. In comparison, this 1968 model has flat fenders. One of the best books I have ever read about the 911, written by Paul Frere, writes on a Porsche. Lot of details, model by model, every year, what the options are. Schematics. Later evolutions of the car. Lot of topics on evolutions. Every model. What was different from one year to another. It helps you understand very well the 911 cooled air model. In case you are interested below this video there are affiliate links for good books to read before you buy the car so click below the video. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please ask them through the comment section below this video.